Here's Richard Swinburne to explain why he thinks credulity is rational. It's always, in my view, always rational to believe that things are the way they seem to be in the absence of counter-evidence. Um, uh, there's a number of words for this principle. I call it the principle of cred credulity. That is to say, the rational person is the credulous person, the person who believes everything in the absence of counter-evidence. Why? And what does Swinburne even mean when he uses the word believe? Why would it not be more rational to be agnostic about whether things are the way they superficially seem to be in the absence of counter-evidence? I think it would be reasonable to suspect that things are the way they seem to be, but I don't see why it's rational to have more than a mere suspicion. I don't see why it's rational to fully believe everything in the absence absence of counter-evidence. Also, I know I keep harping on parsimony, but whether you should believe that something is the way it seems to be depends at least in part on whether how things seem to be is the simplest explanation for one's experience. Um, so, I mean, you're right to believe that you're sitting in a chair interviewing me. You don't need an argument for that. It's so obvious. Yeah, but the existence of a god is not so obvious as to even remotely be analogous to the obviousness of being where one seems to be and doing what one seems to be doing. Um, and like, But of course it is. Somebody can uh, <laughs> wake you up and show you're only having a dream. That would show you were mistaken. So the principle is always... In the absence of counter evidence, it's rational to believe things are what they see. So, persons brought up in a cl closed religious community and and has a deep religious experience, it's obvious to him there's a God. He's right to believe it. Fair enough. If a person is ignorant of all of the psychological factors that can induce such experiences, I guess I couldn't blame them for coming to such a conclusion. But this simply doesn't apply to most educated people and is also probably inapplicable to many lay people as well. But uh, he may come out into the outside world and be presented with counter-arguments and then he may need to consider them if uh, his religious experience isn't very strong and these arguments seem appealing. Um, Likewise, it's it's rational to believe as a god if if uh, <laughs> the wisest person in your community tells you there's a god and there's no other person to tell you there's a god because it's always rational to believe what people tell you in the absence of counter evidence. Okay, I definitely don't buy that. However, even if I did, these arguments seem to only apply to someone who is in a hypothetical state of general ignorance. If someone doesn't know that religious experiences can be psychologically induced. If they live in some isolated community where the wisest person is a theist. Swinburne's argument seems to boil down to saying it's rational to believe in a god if you're in a context of severe intellectual poverty. To everyone who helps me out on Patreon, you're a big help. Thanks so much.